guys, it's me, Lauren Fenty. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Mermaid Life. The link to this game and to the group will be in the description. And the reason why I'm linking the group is because in order to play, you need to join the group. So please keep that into consideration. Now let's get started. I'm going to kind of give you guys like a little tour of what I know. So one of my favorite things about this game is the customization. Um, if you guys click on the hanger, you could actually make a new outfit. Don't mind these terrible outfits. I was kind of just messing around yesterday and I made these terrible <laughs> decisions, but <laughs> you could click on new outfit and then you could double click on it and click select. And there's just so many different hairs and it's just so many different styles, not just even for the hairs, but the tails, the makeup the the scales the fins everything like there's just everything i love it so much and i think it's just one of the best parts of this game that you could really be creative and do your own thing and before all of these items cost coins but they're now free so you're able to have complete and utter creative expression in this game which i love and if you guys are wondering how i got my hair to be this color i actually went in here to this makeup place and I just clicked on this and it gave me this really cool ombre effect which I'm just obsessed with because it really goes with my aesthetic and yeah there's just so many options and then there's also the barrier boutique let's go in shall we so in here they also have more options to choose from and I believe you actually have to purchase these ones I can't tell if they're free let's see Oh yeah, you have to purchase them, but getting coins in this game isn't hard, and I'll show you guys the method to getting the coins in a second. Oh my god, there's so much to show! Ah! But over here, they have this pet shop, and they have a bunch of different pets for you to choose from. I have yet to buy a pet, but I will eventually, once I have enough seashells. And you actually earn seashells periodically, so if you guys really don't know how to earn seashells, you guys are fine, because you'll earn some as you continue to play. So over here is the spa. Look at how pretty the swimming animation is. And even just like the whole like setting is just beautiful. But this is the spa slash juice bar. Such a pretty... Ah, I just love it. So cute. There's just so much to do in this game, which is fun. Unfortunately, there is no powers, but I really just love all of the different things that they provide in this game. Oh my god, look at the spa. This is so adorable. What does this button do? Chocolate pool book? I'm confused as to like, oh, it creates the bubbles? I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> now let's check out the other cool places. So if we leave over here, there's an astrology shop. You could actually go in here and learn about astrology. Comment down below um, what your sign is. I am a Capricorn. They also have like a little misfortune place in here. And if you actually walk inside, like there's a fortune teller. So let's see if I could get a daily fortune. Do I have to pay? <sighs> see fortune the key to a greener planet is in your hands what oh it gave me coin now let's go explore the other places that i missed out on because there's still several things i have not gone into so one of the ways that you could earn coins is by working at the cafe and you just walk in now that i pressed yes go to work i'm going to get their orders so you grab a cup and then they want dark roast so we're gonna go over here we're gonna get some dark roast they want some vanilla flavoring Wait, what's it in milk? It doesn't say. So just vanilla flavoring and some cinnamon. And order is complete. And you could continue making those and then you just leave the cafe and you get the money. <gasps> Wait, hold on a minute. There's just so much going on that I'm like a lost child. It's like an amazed lost child. So there's this Pedro's Potions place. Oh, okay. So in the school, there's this class where they make you do potions, and in order to make the potions, you actually have to go out and collect items, like around here, like as you can see, there's like this glowing thing, and you could actually collect them, and it helps you with potions, and eventually, if you want to, you could sell them over here and earn seashells, so that is another really fun method. Up here is an aqua model agency, Ooh. so if you walk in here, boom, model agency, you could go into the upstairs rooms and actually have a photo shoot there's like this modeling room and you could actually like take a photo and everything let's see if i can find it boom you could do poses i'm gonna do laughter or should i do salute 
Ooh, that's really cute. <laughs> but yeah, you could take photos and you could add like filters to it. They even have Snapchat filters. There's just so many different poses and stuff. So if you have friends over and you'd like to take like photos with them, this is one of the good places to be. You could even adjust the green screen. And then over here, there's this hotel and you could basically just like rent a room and stay over with your friends. And it's just really cute. You could throw parties and do a bunch of fun things. There's also a tail shop. So if you want like a better tail than the ones provided in like the this over here in this category, you could just go in here. So as of now, I guess this is not open because the game is still in beta, meaning that it's not complete yet. But in the future, this should be open and you guys should have that option anyways. I think that it is time that we now go to school. Even though we are years late, let's go attend- That is so cute! Another cute photo shoot spot. I just don't understand the logic behind having a waterfall inside of the ocean, but I'm not gonna question logic. We're playing Roblox, guys. You don't question logic in Roblox. So this is Sunset Academy. They have a cafeteria when you enter and just a bunch of lockers. You could actually get some food for yourself if you pick up a tray. Look at all these lockers, so colorful. But yeah, this is the potions class and this is like the ingredients that they ask of you to get. So when you attend class, um, the ingredients pop up in your phone. So these that you see on the screen, they pop up in your phone and you're able to click on it and sort of navigate through and find all of the different ingredients that you need to make the potions. And this is gym class, guys. There's basically like a race. It begins right over here and you loop through all of these and see who's the fastest swimmer. I am a terrible swimmer apparently. What is going on to my character? She's like not even swimming, she's just moving her tail. So once you make it over there, you get your seashells after you finish going through all of these different halos and stuff. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Another photo shoot spot, love it. So another really cool feature that this game has is that when you go into your phone, there's the emotes and you can go through them and use them. So air guitar, boom. They have a camera so you can take your photo as I showed earlier. They have a sandbank. So this sandbank allows you to buy seashells, but you actually have to pay Robux. I wouldn't recommend it, like you guys can just easily earn it yourself. It's very easy to earn it. There's also the roleplay because something else that I didn't show you is that you guys could have little families. So you could change your roleplay name. Mine is Lauren. I didn't do anything creative with it. But you could allow teleporting so your family could come on in and teleport you or whatever. You could allow family invites. There's just so many cute things. And you could actually even change how your character appears if you go to the closet. You could choose between baby, teenager, and all of those different options if you'd like to roleplay as a child. Oh my god, it's time for school! Let's go to school. Let's get some food up in here. So, you could sit here with friends. Let me say hi to her. Hi! Oh, she just stood up. <laughs> hi. Something else that I really like is that they have a library. Once again, I'm questioning the logic of this game because we're underwater and there somehow seems to be like a little fireplace. Gold- She named her fish Goldfish Crackers? You are terrible. She's terrible. How dare she name it Goldfish Cracker. I actually haven't even explored the other hallways. Ooh, look at this one. There's environmental science. I'm pretty sure there's actually even a fashion room, but I don't know where that is. There's like this room. This is cute as well. I've never actually like gotten to play um, through the fashion class, but it seems like it's fun. I'm guessing you kind of just like design your own mermaid, like model it and then have people vote on which one's the best one. I'm assuming that's like what's happening. There's already coins. I got a D. Did I miss Jim? I miss Jim, guys. All right, let's see how fast I would have been if I actually did this though. Boom, boom. There tends to be coins in the middle as you guys saw, but I was a tardy student because I knew when I was visiting the classes and I didn't realize- Oh my god, wow, I'm a bad swimmer. Boom, if I would have actually been here, I would have gotten my A, but unfortunately, I was tardy and I decided to explore the school instead. Alright. Oh, it's time for class, I think. Cactus harvest, let's harvest it. I got one cactus skin, I got one harvest cactus. Am I missing anything? Alright, let's sit here. Let's make it. Create potion. I already have ingredients too. I just created a ghost morph potion. Should we drink it or should we sell it? Let's drink it. Let's go outside and drink it. Oh my god. It actually looks kind of cool, but also terrifying at the same time. Um, this is interesting. Does this eventually wear off or do I have to like... I don't even know. But 
interesting. Um, I think this concludes this video. I hope that I introduced you guys to a new game and that you enjoyed the little walkthrough slash mini gameplay. Um, I will be making more videos in the future revolving this game, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Also check out my Vampire Diet videos and all my other Roblox content. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!